the whole idea with Chimney Rock right. is that the first real settlement up here was not up here on the top, but was back down there where the vehicles were parked. Okay. And that was sometime around 1054, you know, in that time period, 1050s. And around 1054, we probably, right around that time period, we had not only that wonderful supernova that came up over the horizon over there, yeah. but we also had, that was one of the major lunar standstills, the point at which the moon was at the farthest north of its trajectory. Right. And the idea is that while well, people were up here, that they may have come up here and noticed those full moon sessions for about right. a period of two and a half to three years were rising between these spires. And they think that might have inspired them to build the Great House, which of course wasn't built until the next maximum cycle, which would have put the Great House up here. Wow. Um, so that's a, that's a uh, long time between cycles. Isn't it? it is, but the idea is that people were already noticing that cycle, and they might have noticed, they might have been aware of it, but noticed up here that they had a natural marker for right. that. The sun will never rise, from the perspective we're standing at right here, the sun will never rise between those two spires. Wow. spires. Uh, only the moon will get up there well, when it's on that the maximum part of that cycle. No, there's no indication that those those spires were worked on. Or oh, anything. no, they're they're so completely natural. So it was just a juxtaposition of finding. Right, and if you notice this ridge as we walked up, as the ravens confirming on this here, is that um, this ridge really limits your perspective on what's going on with those spires. You know, if you go behind me about yeah, five right. feet, you know, yeah, and over yeah. the edge. If you go over that way, you're yeah, also over the edge. Right. So this really constrains your perspective for those two spires. So in that sense, I think it was very serendipitous.